Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I promise you, this is not NBA 2K20. It might look like NBA 2K20, but it is not NBA 2K20. This is NBA 2K21, and I haven't decided what my main build is going to be yet, but after last year, you guys really seem to love my LeBron build, so I figure my first demo build video should be LeBron James, all right? But comment down below who my actual main player should be based off. Should I stay with LeBron or should I go with somebody else, all right? But check it out, LeBron James, 2K21. As you can see, the pie charts look the same, but there are four new pie charts. As you can see, like this one is like shooting and finishing, but it's more towards the finishing. Now this one is shooting and finishing, but it's more towards the shooting. And there's a couple more. There's playmaking and shooting that leans more towards the shooting. And then there's defending and shooting that leans more towards defending. It's not quite split evenly. But be careful with these new pie charts, okay? You do not get Hall of Fame badges on both categories. You only get it on the bigger one. So for this pie chart, you will only get Hall of Fame shooting badges, not Hall of Fame playmaking. For example, this one's split evenly. You get Hall of Fame playmaking, Hall of Fame shooting. But the one below it, you'll only get shooting, okay? So be careful. But for LeBron James, I still feel like the best pie chart for him is the playmaking and finishing and you're gonna see they actually made this pie chart even better than it was last year so all you guys that made my build they're giving us a couple more attribute points for shooting and playmaking you guys are gonna see all right so check it out depending on how the game is we don't know if we get the plus five at 99.9 .9 overall we don't know if we get the plus four from gatorade facility so that's gonna have a big effect on your physical attributes so for now I'm just going to go pure speed for the demo because I just want to have the most speed possible. But when the game actually comes out and we know if we get the Gatorade facility plus four, plus five to your all attributes, then maybe we go balanced or whatever the case may be. But for now, we'll just go pure speed because it's just the demo. Okay, so next up, we got the attributes and you have a few choices here. Well, you have a lot of choice. You can do whatever you want. It's your build. But for my LeBron build, I have two choices. Okay, for me, I'm going to go 86 close shot, max out driving layup, driving dunk. That's going to stay the same regardless. You put up all the shooting and you're going to have 12 shooting badges, okay? They dropped one. Last year we had 13. This year we have 12. That's okay, though. Not a big deal because there's no more quick draw. Pass accuracy, ball handling go all the way up. Now, here's the choice. You could go post moves up by three to get 23 playmaking. Then you can max out perimeter lateral steal, defensive rebounding, put the rest on offensive rebounding. You get seven defensive badges. That's pretty good. But if you want to be more offensive, you want to have a post game, post moves for LeBron, have more playmaking badges, you can put down the offensive rebounding, put it all on post moves, you get 30 playmaking, and then you'll only get five defensive and rebounding badges, but you also have no offensive rebounding. So this is the choice. Do you want more offense or more defense? For me right now in the demo, I'm just going to say whatever. I'm going to go with 23 playmaking badges and seven defensive badges. But you could find, you know, it's your build. Like I said, you could find a way in the middle. Maybe you want to go six defensive, 25 playmaking, you know. But for now, like I said, I'm just going to go with the offensive rebounding because I want to see how well he'll rebound the ball offensively because I'm isoing. If I miss, I want to be able to get the offensive rebound when the full game comes out. So we're going to test out the rebounding here in the demo. But as I said, it's personal preference what you want to do. It's the same thing like last year. You guys know I made like, I don't even know, maybe like 10 different LeBron builds. So of course, as we learn more about the game and as patches come out, they might patch, you know, like last year they patched it behind the back and stuff like that. There's always going to be things you might want to change about your build. But for a LeBron build, I think that's pretty well balanced. I mean, you saw the badge spread having seven defensive rebounding. Like that's nice to have on a build that's an offensive build. Now the height... 6-8 would be nice, but we don't know if we get the plus 5 to all attributes. So for now, I'm going to go 6-7. Also, when the full game comes out and you can change it to the metric system, you could go like 6-7 and a half and stuff like that. So there's a bunch of different choices once the full game comes out. But in the demo here, we're going to go six foot seven. Now, here's a new feature that they added to the builder. Last year, you could go max weight and it would not affect your speed. All right, it would affect your acceleration, but it wouldn't affect your speed. Now, as you see, as I go lower and higher on the weight, you get pluses and minuses to not only your acceleration, your strength, but also to your speed. So last year, what a lot of people did was they would go pure speed pie chart and max out the weight, and that would give them a good strength and a really high speed, but that's not the case anymore. You gotta find a nice balance of what you want because if you go max weight, you're gonna lose a lot of speed off your build even if you pick the speed pie chart. So that is one change they made to the builder, despite the fact that basically everything else is the same, but they did make a few slight changes like the four new pie charts, the weight affecting speed. And then also you're gonna see with the wingspan here, 
Wingspan barely affects your ball handling, but there's other things that it affects now. It affects your lateral quickness. It affects your driving dunk. Yes, your arm length affects your driving dunk. So as you see, as I go up and down, you lose driving dunk. You lose, obviously, shooting. That was always there. You gain shooting. I prefer to have longer arms, okay? I just think it's a big bonus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the wingspan up to 87 inches, okay? So we're still gonna have long arms, but check this out. We have a 79 ball handling, a 63 three-pointer. That's without the plus five, because that would go up to a 68 with plus five if that's a thing. And we have 85 driving dunk, which means if it's the same as last year for the thresholds, we have all contact dunks off rip. You don't need to hit 99 or anything like that. You'll have contact dunks right off rip. I love the fact that we have not only perimeter lateral and steel maxed out, but we have pretty good defensive and offensive rebounding. Now, we get slasher, playmaker, shot creator, takeover options. If you were to have lowered the offensive rebound and put it on post moves like we talked about, you would be able to choose post scoring takeover like I made later in the year in NBA 2K20. But who would have guessed we made another facilitating finisher? So if we look at the overview of this build, attribute wise, I would say it's better than it was last year in NBA 2K20. Now I say attribute wise because we don't know how the gameplay is. For example, if a 63 three pointer isn't enough to shoot well, in 2k21 then i'm probably gonna have to make a change to the build i'm probably gonna have to lower the wingspan or do something along those lines but attribute wise the three pointer is already higher than it was last year the ball handling is already higher than it was last year we still get all the contact dunks the defense is much more balanced than the first lebron build i made last year and i mean i only had one defensive badge last year now i have seven and we have rebounding perimeter defense and steel standing at six foot seven i think this build is going to be very solid on defense too so it's very well-rounded and we know lebron is just a well you know just a well-rounded all-around player so we have the playmaking the shooting's better than last year get all the contact dunks and we got defense attribute wise it's better but will it work with the gameplay that is what we need to find out and we probably won't be able to tell until the full game drops but check it out man 14 finishing badges as you can see the finishing badges are the same so we just threw it on contact fancy slithery and giant slayer for now but the one change that came to badges is in the shooting department there's no more quick draw the shot speed is strictly from the jump shot that you choose or in the jump shot creator so when you're making your builds you basically could make the same build and just subtract three shooting badges because you don't need to put that on quick draw. Well, two, three, four, whatever you use, silver, gold, or Hall of Fame last year. There's no more quick draw, so you don't have to worry about that. As you can see, all the playmaking badges are the same. You know, the quick first step handles for days, all that type of stuff. So we just threw on uh, basically what we used last year. Obviously, if this was a LeBron, we were trying to make LeBron, we would have Dimer, Floor General, but this is just the demo. So it's like, you know, we're just going to throw it on the dribbling badges to really try to see if, you know, we could get ankle breakers and stuff like that. Uh, no reason to put it on bailout and all that type of stuff. Obviously, if you're playing in the park, you're going to put that stuff on. But playing against the computer in the demo, there's really no reason to. Uh, so we're just going to throw it on, you know, chase down, rim protector, intimidator, pickpocket, and then clamps. And jump shot, we'll throw it on LeBron. I just have a couple clips of gameplay for you. I'm not going to bore you to death with the gameplay because I'm going to be honest with you. It's very similar to last year. What I did was I took a couple clips that had new animations and I'm just going to show you those. But overall, the feel, I, I think I had like 40 points, eight assists and like five rebounds on this build or something like that. But again, it's just playing against a computer uh, in the demo. So it's not really same, but it did feel explosive. He felt powerful. The big question is, Mike Wang said you're going to need to have a high three-point rating to be able to shoot this year. And look at this, hop steps. I mean, are they back, guys? Hop steps could be back. But Mike Wang was saying you need a high three-point rating to be able to shoot consistently this year. They say that every year. So we'll see. If that is the case, then I'm going to have to make tweaks to this build. But we'll see. Check it out. A little explosive behind the back looks like it's back. The hop steps in the first couple clips look pretty damn broken. So I don't know. We'll see how the game comes out. But look at, you know, he's still flying to the rack, throwing it down like LeBron would in real life. So overall, for the first demo LeBron build that I made, I would say this one is pretty damn accurate. Very well-rounded, very strong, very powerful, very athletic. It's LeBron James, NBA 2K21, man. Drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm out. Peace.